welcome to the build log number three video. In this video, I'll be discussing the motor mounts, the XY idlers, and the belts. If you're new to this series, check out the beginning of this build log by clicking on the video link on your screen now. Starting with a core XY motor mount, in front of us here are the two mounts for the motors for the X and Y axis, one on the left hand side and one on the right hand side. As this core XY belt assembly will not have the belts crossing at the far end, they're going to be uh, one on top of the other like that, I'm going to have to stagger the mounts on the printer so the left hand side mount is higher than the right hand side mount. And to allow for that, I needed more height than what the Y shaft bracket allowed. So I've just gouged out a little bit of this mount so we can slide up into the Y axis shaft mount. On this one here, I haven't had to do that as it's going to be mounted just below the Y shaft mount. The other consideration here is with these T-slot nuts, you need to preload them before slotting them into the uh, 2020 aluminium extrusion. However, you can only do that on one axis. If you do it on both axis like I've done here, you're not going to fit it into the aluminium frame. So one way to uh, fix that is one of the uh, T-slot nut inserts I've allowed to fit all the way through rather than just being a circle for the actual M5 screw itself. So you can screw that side in first and then preload your nut on the M5 screw and that'll slot in on that side as well. It took a few attempts to get the spacing of the motor just right away from the 2020 aluminium. So the center of the shaft is perfectly lined up with the 20 tooth pulley to allow the belts to perfectly line up with the XY joiner. The same on this side as well. And also to allow the motor to butt up as close as possible to the 2020 aluminium, the M5 screws with the button head will be recessed inside um, the motor mount itself just like that so that's not going to obstruct the mount for the motor. On the opposite ends of the stepper motors on the frame will mount one of these. This is the XY idler for the belts to do a 90 degree turn at the rear of the frame. This part here has these fingers which allow uh, these double bearings to be mounted in between. The spacing of these bearings is the same spacing as the XY joiner and also the X carriage. That will ensure that the belts are parallel throughout the travel around the frame. This part here simply clamps to the XY uh, extrusion using M5 screws and the T-slot nuts. At the moment I'm just using a 16mm M3 screw as the axle as I will need a 35mm M3 screw as the axle which will travel through all of this part and that will allow me to use a nylock nut at the end to make sure that this entire assembly doesn't come loose as each of these bearings will be spinning and potentially loosening up the screw otherwise. And here it is, the motors, the idlers, and the belts are finally installed into the new 3D printer frame. It's looking more and more like a 3D printer every week. And as you saw, I was able to get the belts perfectly lined up throughout the travel around the perimeter of the frame. 
And unlike last week where I was able to easily move around the whole X gantry, now that the belts are installed and the motors are attached to the belts as well, it's obviously taking more force to now move this by hand, but certainly not impossible. And whether I'm moving just the X or the Y or both, there's no binding at all. So I think this whole drive system will work for me just fine. And if you've ever wondered how a Core XY actually moves the X carriage, well, let's have a look here. If I just put my thumb on the left hand motor and push forward, as you can see, the X gantry or the, and the X carriage is moving in the top right. And if I reverse that rotation, so I'm now pulling the pulley toward me, it's now coming this way. And the same with the motor on the right hand side. If I move uh, the pulley in a clockwise fashion, it's moving the X gantry over there, and if I pull back, it's moving it back into this corner. Now, if they're both moving, if I both push the pulley away from me, so one's going anti-clockwise, one's going clockwise, you can see the X, the X carriage is staying put, and only the Y axis is moving, and vice versa, if I reverse the rotation, you can see the X, car the X uh, carriage is staying where it is, and only the Y axis is moving. Now, if I move these in the same orientation, so I'll move this one clockwise and this one clockwise, see what happens. You can see the X carriage is moving left and the Y axis is staying put and vice versa. If I reverse the rotation on both, the X carriage is moving while the Y axis is staying put. The way that I'm tightening these belts is I've allowed one side of the belt to be stationary while the other side is actually uh, cable tied around a small piece of plastic which can be screwed into the X carriage so that can start out out here and you can screw both in to tighten the belt so one on this side down here and one on this side up here but I found that tightening the belts in this way causes the whole X gantry to skew because I'm tightening on one side first, so it's pulling closer to one motor. Then I'm tightening one, tightening on the other side, and it's pulling closer to the other motor. And there's no guarantee that the final tighten result will be a perfectly parallel X gantry uh, on the Y axis. So I'm going to redesign this uh, for the next video, where uh, I'll be tightening both of these belts at the same time on one side only, and the other side will just have the belts fixed. And I've zoomed into one of the idlers so you can see the belts clearly and you can see the direction that the belts will move. If I move the entire X gantry uh, on the Y axis, you can see the belts are moving in opposite directions. And if I push forward now, the belts are moving in opposite directions again. But if I just leave the Y axis where it is and just move the X axis only, you'll see, if I can keep the Y axis stationary, both belts are moving in the same direction. Doesn't matter if I'm going left or right. Isn't that interesting? Here's the motor mount on the right hand side. You can see that it's butting up directly underneath the Y shaft clamp. And the motor mount on the left hand side you can see is actually inserting into the Y shaft clamp to allow some extra height as the belt is on top of the Y shaft. Looking at one of the XY idlers, we can see the belts are nicely positioned within the flanges of the 6233 bearings. Even though this printer is not ready to start printing yet, do you think we should plug these motors in to see how the XY gantry moves? Yeah, let's do it. Just for this quick test, I've unplugged the X and Y motors from my Prusa i3 uh, ramps board and plugged them into the Core XY motors. I've updated Marlin to uh, utilize the Core XY kinematics and I've also increased acceleration from the low of 800 millimeters a second that I'm using on the Core XY and the Prusa i3 up to 2000 millimeters a second which is the default for Marlin but I can't do that with my printer because it affects the quality too much but let's just see how this prints with those default settings and for this test I'll be printing well I'll be virtually printing a 100 millimeter by 100 millimeter uh, test cube, so quite a large one, with a honeycomb infill.